What's going on guys? I got a super cool video for you guys today. I actually dropped this two years ago on Halloween. Guys, back then I had like less than 2,000 subscribers. This video got no views. One of my favorite creative cuts that I've done. And you guys will see it as Halloween theme. So I thought it was a cool idea to drop it again. We're gonna kind of react to the tools that I'm using, the techniques that I'm doing, and kind of see what's changed in the last two years of doing YouTube. So let's get right into this video and see what it's all about. All right guys, so this is my girl Tara. I have not cut her hair in a long time. She moved to Florida, I believe, so I used to have so much fun cutting her hair. She always would come in with crazy colors. If you guys have really been watching for a while, you have seen her before. You guys can see we got some black and orange for Halloween. I remember setting this up, I think it was like my fourth video on YouTube, so it's been a long time since I cut this. I was super excited to put it out. I didn't have any subscribers at the time, and I was super devastated that it did not do anything on YouTube. So I'm gonna drop it back out today for you guys. So you can see, I kind of started off the same way, guys. We did the partings that I normally would do, but now I'm coming in with a number four, I would guess, on the sides and cutting up into that. So similar to what I would do setting up that blog graduation, but back then, I guess I didn't really know the Joshua P formula. So I'm just starting off with a big guard, cutting into the side, cutting that bulk down, and giving us a panel to cut on the sides. And you guys can see I'm using the Hawk Edition Babelist FX Clipper. I don't even honestly remember that I had that clipper. Now everything's all black, and I had two in green for a while, but I guess back then we had the Hawk Clipper. The faithful slimline guys, I was still using the slimline. You guys know that is still what I use today for my bald guidelines. So I was pretty much using the same system guys. You guys know I preach to pick a system that works for you and stick with it. And you guys will see probably as we go, I'm gonna change a few things up the way that I do it nowadays, but more or less, it should be pretty much the same. So like I was just saying guys, now I'm balding out underneath that with my skeleton. You guys know I still do that today. And then we'll come in with the shaver underneath. Guys, I got the gold skeleton and the gold shaver. So this must have been right when those came out. Definitely remember using those. Um, but guys, you know now we got some much cooler tools. Now we're coming in with the wall senior, guys. This is my custom wall senior. I don't think I had the tune battery yet because I remember making the video installing the battery. I'm gonna come in, set my open section, same as I normally would. We're gonna do a fade on this side. We're gonna do a design on the other side. So we'll set our open section and take that line out from the bottom. Just like I used to do guys, now you know I have the boosted with the fusion blade and it will take the line out so I don't have to do this, but back in the day, we would scoop the line out with the slim line and then move on to the close clipper. So now we're gonna come in with the close clipper and you guys can see I got a ceramic blade on my senior. I did used to use those. Not really a significant change in the way that they cut. It was just kind of the thing at the time everybody was doing. So I did have the ceramic blade, but that's not really anything that I mess with anymore. So you can see now we're to the lever halfway open. We just about have this section blended out. We'll do a little lever play. You guys know, come in and detail some of these dark spots, starting with the lever open, closing it up as we need and getting that together. So now you guys can see I'm back to the FX. Cause you know, I always think that these cut bulk better. So I like to fade with something else, but even back then I was cutting some of the bigger panels with the FX clipper. So we're coming in with a one guard all the way open. I guess these are the wall premium guards that I used back in the day. Come in with it open and then we'll close it up and take the line out from the bottom. Now we have it all the way closed, guys. We're gonna attack that bottom line. If you guys watch the channel, you know it's not gonna take the line all the way out. We will come in with the half guard, take it the rest of the way out here in a second. Now we're in with the half guard, guys. You can see this is gonna take the rest of that panel out. Then we have a three or a four above that, and we'll move on and blend that all together after this. guess that that is the three we started with the four we're gonna use the three work our way down to the two and then finally the one and a half to connect everything together and guys that is a old school power clip you can see 245 is actually on the back side not on the side that you can see from the clipper from your point of view 
I believe this is the one and a half now, guys. We're taking that last line out. We may have to come in and detail with the one, but the one and a half should tie all this together. Then we'll go ahead and edge this side up and we can move on to the other side. Man, ain't nothing better than the old school gold FX, guys. You know I still prefer the original blade, so not the deep tooth blade, not the 2.0. This is the original gold FX trimmer. Guys, honestly, there is really not a better trimmer out there. Move on to the other side, guys. We're gonna prep it with a number four, just like the other side. Go ahead and cut into that bulk on top. I'm gonna to do a little bit of a design on this side. You guys can see those FX slippers just feeding into that hair. That's what I like so much about them. If you go slow with them, they will just feed into the hair above, make it a lot easier than setting kind of a harsh guideline that you guys have to take out later. I believe we will do a little bit of clipper over comb to clean up that weight here in a minute. Now I think I'm fading down with a number three. Go ahead and cut it down. We're gonna fade it down so we can start our design, and then we'll come in and detail the bald area and the rest of the fade. So now guys, we're gonna come in and start some parts on the side. I don't remember where I got the idea for this design. I think my guy CJ did it. But it's basically gonna have three parts going up the side and the fade is gonna go up inside of each design. So you see, I'm just gonna start out little by little, super skinny lines. Then we'll start to blow it up and kind of turn this into what we want. And again, the Gold FX guy is the best trimmer for doing designs. These things just cut like a beast. So you see they're gonna chop right through the hair, make some nice sharp lines. I don't really like to use a razor a whole lot on designs if I don't have to. So I like to use a trimmer that can really punch that in for me and make it a little easier. Now we're gonna come in with the slim line and kind of start our bald guideline. And guys, we're gonna do the same exact steps as we would on the other side. We're just gonna shape it different, right? So we're gonna shape it up into each section here. We're gonna still do our same steps, work the fade out. It's just gonna be in a different shape than we would when we're doing a fade or a taper. See, I'm kind of doing like a burst circle guideline and then our fade will go in that same shape, going up into each of these panels on the sides of the design. Go ahead and come in with the shaver and bald it out. Then we'll start our first step with the clipper all the way open. Now we come in with the clipper open, guys. Again, this is a wall senior with the ceramic blade with a taper blade on it. I think that's all I had done at the time. I do have the Mac Gifted Hands lid on there. I can't really tell if the battery, the battery looks orange from here, so I don't think I had the battery. You guys see we did our open section. Now we'll come with the slim line and knock that bald line out, then come in with the clipper closed and work it the rest of the way out. Now we can come in with the one guard all the way open. We're just gonna continue to work our way up, guys. So don't let this kind of stuff confuse you or seem more complicated. You're doing the same exact steps as you would on a fade or a taper. We're just changing the direction, right? So a lot more corner of the clipper, kind of just working as you go until you get it where you want it, but you're doing the same exact steps. So if you guys wanna do these creative haircuts, don't let it kind of scare you because it seems more complicated. It is literally no different. We're just fading in a different shape than we would if we're doing like a traditional taper or a fade. So no different than doing like a super drop fade versus doing a straight around fade, We're just doing it in a different shape. So you guys tackle these haircuts, they're super fun to do, get creative, you guys can easily knock these out, just don't let it scare you. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out the next two panels. I apologize for the focus guys, I definitely wasn't as good at this. Like I said, this is like my fourth YouTube video. So I'm gonna go check after this and see how many views it had, but I don't think it's very many. For some reason I chose to use the FX back here, kind of switched it up. You guys know how I do. I really can cut with any clipper. Just sometimes I just grab something different and go about things differently. So we're using the FX clipper, open one, close one, take the line out with the half guard. You can see this section is coming together. And now I'm having a flashback, guys. I actually remember doing this and her head is super stained. You guys can see it. So it's still looking pretty dark. And I think that was because she dyed it so recently. So if I remember correctly, I'm gonna go get, yep, right here. We're gonna take some wipes, these are color wipes, and I'm gonna wipe all this color off so I can really get in here and detail the fade. And you guys notice how much lighter that is now that I've wiped all that color off. So now we gotta go back in and really detail it because it wasn't quite what it seemed with the hair color on her skin. 
I guess I'm gonna go ahead and clip over comb a little bit, clean up this white line. We might move on to the top. Guys, like I said, I haven't watched this video in a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up. You guys can see we're just making sure that we have a smooth transition from those sides up into that white on top. We'll go ahead and do the orange side as well. And I know we're gonna add some texture to this cut and style it at the end. It's kind of funny to see guys, we're still using similar tools, the Babyliss Shaver, the Slimline, an FX Clipper, and a Senior, which is not the same as a Boosted, but guys, pretty much the same idea as the Boosted, same clipper shape. Obviously I have the Fusion Blade, but those are some things that have changed in the past, but more or less we're using the same thing. Now you guys can see I'm basically doing the DFS formula that you guys see me use a lot of the time. We take it to each side and connect it to that weight that we started with. And now I'm gonna come in and do a deep point cut to really create some texture on this cut. So my techniques have not changed a whole lot. Probably a lot smoother, a lot better at it, but we're still doing basically the same idea as you guys can see on my channel today. blunt off the fringe here. We are gonna leave her the piece. You guys know like I like to wear. We're gonna go ahead and leave that. So I'm gonna take it across to that piece and then we will kind of angle it up on the other side to create that fang or that accent piece that I like to do. Man, she used to be so fun to cut, guys. She always would have cool makeup. She wanted to be a makeup artist. I don't know what she's doing today, but she would always come in with cool makeup, super cool hair color. I think I do have a couple other videos. One of my favorite cuts ever on her, I believe I have a time-lapse video on the channel. So if you guys wanna check it out, go way back to when I started and check that content out. Now we're gonna come in with some 245 shave gel, guys. We're gonna shave these parts in. So I'm just gonna rub the shave gel in. You guys see, still using the black handle 245 razor. I'm not sure if it was exposed. We're gonna have to look really close here. I'm not sure if I was using it. It does look pretty exposed. So you guys know for detail, the exposed razor is super nice. And that's how I'm able to see the blade and get in here and get these super sharp, so. So this is the OG enhancement card, guys. I did not know this was gonna be in the video. No logo on it, this is just a piece of plastic. This is my first prototype, you guys can see here. So if you guys didn't know, that is how it started out. I cut it out of a notebook, and after a while, I pitched it to 245, and obviously, guys, today it is one of our products. So you guys can see we're using no drip, we're just spraying it to enhance those lines. We just wanna make them pop a little bit more. After we wipe that color off, guys, we really lost some of the sharpness that we had on those design details. I'm just gonna enhance the C cup, enhance the vertical bar. Man, I was a little sloppy with the color back then. Coming with my Dyson, you guys see same blow dryer we're using today. We're gonna just blow dry this hair, start to get it flat. I wasn't really using a diffuser back then. I just wanna get it dry so I can start to move it around and bring that texture out in this finished cut. You see now I'm using my brush to kind of lift the hair and get it moving around. Now we'll come in and add some product. I would guess this is 245 Indestructible Clay. Absolutely my favorite clay, my favorite matte finish, guys. It is back out on Amazon. If you guys are Indestructible Clay fans, go copy some on Amazon. So coming in, just getting this PC, getting some texture out. You guys can see this super dope Halloween cut. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had to do a little throwback, guys. I got some content in the chamber, but I didn't want to put it all out at once. It is Halloween. I thought this would be cool to go back and kind of see what we were doing back then. So if you guys liked the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up as always, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I do have five videos already on YouTube, ready to come out, coming up this week. You guys leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this old school cut. And if you guys watched it back in the day, let me know in that comment section. As always, guys, I appreciate all of you that watch my content and I'll catch you guys next time.